Welcome. Let's go through some of the questions where uh, we have brought the errata. Now, very important to note, don't commit silly mistakes as we did uh, while you are solving the paper. The first question that we would discuss for today is the pair of shoes. Now here, let's say in a box, the pair of shoes are given. There are 10 pairs of red shoes. That means 20 red. Okay. 9 pairs of white. That means uh, 8, 18 white and 8 pairs of black. That means 16 black. Now, without replacement, you have to get a red pair of shoes to wear. Now, what is very important term here is to wear. So, how many shoes I can remove directly? So, that would be 34 shoes. Now, 34 shoes I removed. After that, only I can have a red shoe. Now, important to note, the next shoe I would pick would be red. But, there could be a possibility that all the shoes I pick are left. Are for the left leg. And, those would be how many? 10. So, 34 plus 10 is 44. And then, the one I would pick would be the shoe that could be of right pair so then it would make a pair left leg left leg and right leg so this would be 45 since it's asking a red pair of shoes to wear i have to take into account that when i am picking the red ones there could be a possibility that 10 of the ones that i pick in the beginning turn out to be what they turn out to be um, left leg for the left leg and therefore i have to have one more chance where I would say that okay now I can have one more shoe and that would be the 45th. So here from the choices as you can see 45 would be the right answer. Let's move to the next question. Now here again very important to note a silly mistake that we did was uh, reading the word alone. Now this is not a combined rate problem. This is a work rate problem where you have to count on individually. So A alone works on Monday, B alone on Tuesday and C alone on Wednesday. So A, B and C. Their contribution is 1 by 8, 1 by 16 and 1 by 12. I take the LCM that's 48. I find, I find this out. So this is 6 plus 3 plus 4 that gives me 13. 13 by 48 that's the combined one combined work right but let me convert every every of these terms in the rate of 48 okay so this would be 6 by 48 this uh, let me scroll it down okay so this would be 6 by 48 this would be 3 by 48 and this would be 4 by 48 now this is for monday tuesday and wednesday now again thursday friday and saturday so again, the same things repeat here. So this is 13 by 48. I added another 13 by 48. I get 26 by 48. I have to add one more 13 by 48. That would make 39 by 48. Okay. So this would make 39 by 48. Now, so for Thursday, Friday and Saturday, this repeats. Then for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, again, this would repeat. So this 3, these 3 and these 3 gives me how much? 39 by 48. Now, on the next day, that is Wednesday, I would have 6 more added to 39. So, that would make it how much? That would make it 45 by 48 by Wednesday. And then again Thursday, it would become how much? It would become 3 more. So, this was 3 by 48. That would be added again. So, this is where ABC works and then again ABC works, then again ABC would work and then again A and B would work and this would make it 45 by 48, that is 1. Now, when the work gets finished, the works get finished on Thursday. How many days are required? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So, in the question, it says the work would be finished on Thursday. Correct. The work would be finished in 10 days. Incorrect. The work would be finished in 11 days. Clear? So, this was another important problem that you must be careful about. The next is, what is the sum of all digits which appear in all the integers 10 to 100? Uh, now, what mistake we did was, 
we counted on to the numbers that is 11 12 13 and we added those actually it is asking sum of digits that is when it is 11 it is asking 1 plus 1 that's 2 right and that's way from 10 to 100 all numbers so let me do it from 0 to 9 0 to 9 all numbers n into n plus 1 by 2 gives me how much 45 okay that that i have calculated now when i have the first sequence from 10 to 19, I would do 10 into 1 plus 0 to 9, okay. Then I would do 10 into 2 plus 0 to 9 and this I would keep on doing till 10 into 10, uh, sorry, 10 into 9, right. So this 45, I simply say 0 to 9 multiplied by 10. So this makes me how much 0 to 9 is 45. So 45 into 10 is 450 and this I will repeat again for the second set so it would be 450 again but note here 0 to 9 is removed so 450 plus 450 is how much 900 from this 900 I remove the first set which is 45 because 0 to 9 is now not counted I am counting only from 10 in the question so what I do is I remove from 900 45 so I get 855 but I have to count till 100 I was so far counting till 99 only right so when I am counting till 100 I would have to add this 1 to it so I will add 1 to it so my answer becomes uh, 586 and as you can see from the given choices here we have 586 as the answer so very very important calculation and that's how you proceed for this question a really interesting question because the question asks for sum of digits now again this is an interesting problem here you have a square a b c d now on this square there are different vertices so these are the vertices on one side there are one each and on the other side there are two each important to note don't get confused that these two points are collinear so they cannot form a triangle they can how I connect this, this and this, I form a triangle. I connect this, this and this, I form a triangle. So very simple, six, six vertices and you have to join three, uh, three points. So six, three, uh, six, uh, three, that is six into five into four into three into two into one divided by three into two into one multiplied by three into two into one. So this and this cancels out. And I cancel this as 2. So that's 4 into 5 that gives me 20. So I have 20 ways in which it could be formed. Now, to solve this, I can have n divided by uh, uh, r, n minus r. Okay, so r, n, n minus r. That's how you can divide it. And that's, that's how you solve this factorial problem, right? The next question is a very interesting problem. Here, understand the logic behind it. So, there are four different ways in which you can take the number, right? So, this is stripe 1, stripe 2, stripe 3, stripe 4. Understand this very carefully. It says no two adjacent can have the same color, okay? So, if I take one color here, I can have color 2 here. I take one color here, I can have color 3 here. I take color 2, I can have 1 here, I take 2, I can have 3 here, I take 3, I can have 1 here, I take 3, I can have 2 here. So how many combinations for S1 and S2? I have 6 ways in which I can have arrangement for S1 and S2. Now, what can be the numbers here? Here, either it can be 3, okay, or it can be 1, 2 cannot be there because it's, it would be adjacent. Now, so there are 2 ways in which I can fill S3, very very important. Now, again S4 can be filled in two ways. I can have either uh, 2 here or if I am taking 1, I can have 2 here. If I am taking 3, I can have 1 here. Clear? So, there can be two ways in which I can fill here. So, so what would be it? 6 into 2 into 2. So, that is 6 into 4 that is 24. But, very important, understand if I am just talking about the first row, right? So, let me just scroll down. Here, I have the option of 1, 2. For the third one, let's say I take 1. 
so what can I put here I can put here 3 okay or I can put here what I can put here 2 now let's say I take 3 here I cannot take 2 here because 2 would become adjacent so I cannot take 2 and 2 so what I take next is 3 if I take 3 here what I can put here is what numbers I can have it here I can have either 1 or I can have two. Those were some of the questions that we have discussed for today. An important errata for your C set. Um, definitely the complete lectures are available at the link below for the C set preparation.